NFL Week 4 edition of the Power 5. I am, of course, the appropriately named Brian Power, number one handicapper in the NFL this season at Wager Talk, 6-1 and one overall the last two weeks, and a perfect 6-0 and oh with NFL sides this season. But before I tell you about my top plays for Sunday, how about five free winners for Week 4? For those of you new to the program, we're on every day here at Wager Talk TV, and it is a 105-75-5 and five overall run on the show. After going 3-2 and two on Friday, let's keep it going. Got two totals, two sides, and a teaser for you today. As a reminder, you can always go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. Number one, 1 p.m. Eastern, Falcons minus three over the Saints. Falcons definitely look like they're the sharp side in this NFC South matchup. They open minus one and have taken money ever since. Would not play this any higher than minus three, though, but... The bloom is definitely off the proverbial rose in New Orleans as the Saints were beaten a lot worse than what the final score showed last week. They may have only lost 15-12 at home to the Eagles, but got outgained 460 to 219. There were four consecutive Eagles drives, count them four, that got into Saints territory, and they resulted in a total of zero points because Nick Sirianni was losing his mind. New Orleans very lucky in that regard that they didn't get beaten by a wider margin by Philly. Meanwhile, I thought the Falcons kind of got hosed by the refs on a non-PI call last week at home versus Kansas City. They definitely are going to come in motivated this week not to start the season 0-3 at home. Remember, they lost here at home in Week 1 to the Steelers. Uh, Did beat the Eagles in Philly on Monday Night Football, a memorable game, of course. Hopefully, the Atlanta coaching staff takes a cue from how Vic Fangio and the Eagles defense schemed against this Saints offense last week. I like the Falcons to get the winning cover here again and make things really interesting in the NFC South. Number two, I also like the under in this Saints-Falcons contest. There are injury concerns along the offensive line for both of these teams, and running back Alvin Kamara is listed as questionable for the Saints. That caught a lot of people by surprise on Friday. Going back to what I just mentioned about the Falcons hopefully taking a cue from Eagles DC Fangio. Uh, Fangio showed that using five down linemen is the way to defend Derek Carr and this Saints offense. The Saints O-line was considered bad before the start of the season. So being down two starters, including an all-pro center, not good for them at all. I really expect the Saints offense to struggle in Atlanta this week. On the flip side, the Falcons offense has the fewest number of third down conversions in the league through three weeks. Only six. And running back Bijan Robinson, he averaged only 1.9 yards per carry last week against KC. Yes, I like Atlanta to cover the three here, but in a low scoring game where under 41 is also a play. Number three, Bears minus three versus the Rams. Talk about teams that were lucky to win last week. The Rams trailed the 49ers by double digits in the fourth quarter, but got two scores in the final two minutes to steal a 27-24 victory at home. But the Rams remain one of the most banged up teams in the league right now. Cluster of injuries at receiver and along the offensive line. They still do retain a big edge at both quarterback and coach in this matchup against the Bears. Important usually, but I don't think it's enough on the road in this early 1 o'clock kickoff in the Windy City. That's because the Rams' defense currently allows a frightening 9.4 yards per pass attempt. So could be a big afternoon for Bears rookie QB Caleb Williams. You go back to 2022, the Rams guys are just 4-10-1 against the number as road underdogs. Number four. All right, let's look at another total. The under 40 in Steelers-Colts. I cashed a 4% best bet winner on the Colts last week. But given what I saw from quarterback Anthony Richardson in that game, it is pretty tough to like his chances against this Steelers defense. Richardson's the kind of guy who could complete a pass to a receiver standing on the moon, yet the next attempt he'll miss the broad side of a barn. I I don't get it. Now, stay tuned because I still do (laughs) like the Colts as part of this week's teaser. However, the bottom line is Pittsburgh unders are the gift that keeps on giving, gang. All three of their games this season have stayed under. Not only that, none of the three have seen more than 30 total points scored. Despite the team being 3-0 straight up and against the spread, Pittsburgh I'm of course talking about, I still think quarterback Justin Fields is pretty limited, so under 40 in that one. Now, our last play is a teaser. We will tease the Colts up to plus 8, go through those key numbers of 3-7, and seven, which is always what you want to do with these things. Consider that Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin has a losing ATS record all time as a road favorite. And since the start of last season, the Steelers have just two wins 
by more than eight points. One of those was last week against the Chargers. And of course, the Chargers lost quarterback Justin Herbert midway through that game to an injury. The other half of the teaser to go along with Colts plus eight will be the Jets. We're going to take them down from minus seven and a half to minus one and a half. Certainly on extra rest, you would expect Aaron Rodgers and company to win here. They're facing a rookie quarterback, Bo Nix, who's playing on the road for the second straight week. Yeah, the Broncos surprised. Uh, I gave them out on the power five plus the points against the Bucks last week. But Nix still does not have a single passing touchdown this season. That's pretty damning. Jets defense should confuse him all day long. All right, let us now recap the Power 5 for NFL Week 4. We focused on just a couple games, uh, sides and totals and teasers. There was some overlap here. Number 1, Falcons minus 3 against the Saints. Number 2, under 41 in Falcons Saints. Number 3, Bears minus 3 against the Rams. Number 4, Steelers Colts under 40. And number 5, a teaser with the Colts up to plus 8 and the Jets down to minus one and a half. You can go ahead and let me know your favorite NFL bets for week four by commenting down below. In addition to letting me uh, know what you think of my selections here on the Power Five, you can, of course, find my favorite NFL bets for week four over at wagertalk.com. Just head over to wt.buzz slash bp, where I am number one in football this season at Wager Talk, hitting an incredible 68% with my plays in NFL and college combined. Not to mention, also number one in the NFL, where I've gone 6-1 the last two weeks, and I'm a perfect 6-0 with sides this season. I have three sides locked and loaded for Sunday. You can get all three right now for just $29. Once again, wt.buzz slash bp. One more time, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and smash that like button. I always appreciate your support of the Power Five. And of course, you want to make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Not only do I have you covered each and every day with the Power Five, but every Monday through Friday, I do the morning wager with my good friend, Mark Zinno. What an outstanding program that is as well. And that's going to do it for NFL Week 4. On the Power 5, until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.